So after recently giving away 10 regular Fennex, you guys seem to love it. So I just bought 24 more, which I'm going to be giving away on the channel on the road to half a million subs. And every single week, I'm going to select one random person that is subbed to the channel to win a free Fennex. So yeah, make sure I subscribe. That is literally it, and it's completely free. So today is going to be the day we're talking about the Rocket League market in full detail. Have Rocket League brought out one too many item shops, and is Rocket League trading actually dying? Right, guys so welcome back to the channel i hope you're having a fantastic and safe day as always and today we're not going to be sugarcoating anything we're going to be talking straight facts is rocket league trading dying so with the market being in absolute shambles for the past month or so we're going to be talking about what's going on with the market how the prices have changed from literally the start of this year to now and yeah just going through what we can do in the future to make things right if you do trading on rocket league and want to stick around for daily rocket league content throughout the whole of 2021 make sure you are subscribing to the channel also drop a like if you enjoyed the video recently one of my good friends has set up a massive fundraiser for cancer research as it's going to be running the whole entire tough mudder which if you don't know in the uk that is 16 to 19 kilometers of like running through mud basically it's going to be a massive task and the link's going to be down below any donation is appreciate us heavily obviously you don't have to but the link is going to be down below and literally any donation is so so appreciated and yeah let's get into the video quickly before we do jump into this video i'd love to give a huge shout out to the fan favorite sponsor on the channel aoa.com so i've been working with these guys for several years now and they're the fastest and most reliable place to pick up any rocket league item and by using the code in the description you are going to get yourself six percent off every single purchase so i think we can all agree the start of 2021 for rocket league trading was a big highlight i'm not gonna lie with the white fennec like you saw right there being literally worth 22,000 credits so much profit on the table but literally what went wrong that's the main question to answer the question is rocket league trading dying for now i'm gonna say no but give it a month or so if there's no improvements i could definitely agree that rocket league trading is slowly dying and i'm gonna go through why now so from the previous video i made i got this comment right here where the guy was pretty much just saying what can we do in this situation you know the market is done for at the moment and it's only got 1,000 credits and i can recommend if you're really small going for non-crate stuff it's always a massive w paying like 30 and selling for 50 every single time and if you want to go for stuff like, I don't know, bubbly, definitely recommend that because it's so underrated on obviously other black markets, painted octanes, painted fenix, regular fenix as well, are really good to make a lot of profit from. Obviously, that's going to be the quick and easy way to make a lot of profit going for stuff that's high in demand and just buying for like 100 under the min and selling for either the mid or minimum value, making that quick and easy profit. But to be fair, I think the main thing that's like swaying people away from trading right now is that they've made investments and they're waiting for them to rise, but the market's not budging. The market is literally saying no to investments right now, not moving at all. So I think that's the main thing that's swaying like people away, basically. To make it fair, I'm going to go through the most popular items over the past 24 hours on Rocket League Insider just to make sure I'm getting like the most reliable items. And yeah, first of all, we're going to take a look at the RLCS items where everyone thought, you know, this was going to be the one. They were going to start rising, but no. Kicking the teeth. The, yeah, there's a load of items, obviously, right now are not really doing anything on the market. We have the White Emeralds as well, but they've just been flatlining, so that's why they're not here on the spreadsheet. But yeah, they've just been dropping rapidly. The main reason for that, to be fair, is once again, the Rocket League drops just haven't changed. Like, they've been the same one for a very long time. Therefore, there's not really going to be that much demand there, and there's not going to be as many people interested to collect drops in that sense. And obviously, the market's not really going to shape up that much. So that's the main reason they've been dropping rapidly. So now we move on to the section, which is, yeah, the most boring, and in my opinion, is going to kill Rocket League the most because even if things are dropping on the spreadsheet fair enough there's movement there but as ninja says i'm not seeing enough movement like what on earth is actually going on with the market here because basically all of like the high demand items like the well-known stuff painted fenix you know black markets you've got stuff like octanes they're not good for investing they're good for easy profit like buying and selling but they've been flatlining for the longest time and it's the most boring thing just seeing on the spreadsheet nothing happening even if an item's dropping you know stuff is happening at least you can wait for it to drop really low and then invest but when an item's been flatlined for this long and you just can't do anything with it, it is quite boring for the market. So I guess you could argue and just say that, yeah, obviously these items aren't really that good for investing. Fair enough. Good for easy profit. But still, the prices for those, way too low. When do you see Dissolver at 2k on a spreadsheet? That is a red flag straight away. You've got Crimson Octane that used to be like 4k and that's like 3 right now. And that's what I mean. The market is just so cheap on like the credits and honestly, no idea why at this point. Because it was literally just under a month ago where all of this like market crash happened and the market flatlined for a little bit went up a little bit and then went down for literally no reason at all like the line reaper came to the shop and then it went down a little bit again but the line reaper i don't really think that should be necessary for the market to drop that much and i just don't know what's happened but hopefully we can see in the future quite a lot of stuff rising and talking about rising stuff there's only a selected couple that are actually going up right now once again they're not even like skyrocketing you've got the dune racer right there which went up quite a bit to about 50 to 54 thousand credits and then just stopped yep okay that stopped there no idea why and then taking a look at the drilling dragons that was going up quite a lot and bang 
once again, it's been flatlining for a few days, which obviously it seems a bit petty. Like they could just go up rapidly in a very like short period of time, but it's just weird. No items are literally skyrocketing right now. So there's no way to invest, no way to make a ton of profit right now. And Honestly, yeah, that's the main reason people are starting to leave. With at least Xbox trading, the most expensive painted item is going to be the white Apex. And yeah, literally, as I'm making this video, they've dropped it on the spreadsheet as well. And I was going to say, they've been flatlining for like two months now at 100k. And it just proves nothing is happening to the market. So I think we've got to be patient, you know, wait a little bit of time. Just see what happens to the market. Like, hopefully next month's going to be better. I have no idea why, though, in May. Like, realistically, there's not really that many good item shops. No, re Not really that much recent. Obviously, they brought out the, what is it, Lamborghini. Then they brought out the Nissan pack. So, I guess I can make, like, an example for it. But I just don't know. It still just seems a bit weird to me how the credit demand is still so, so high. So, people will say the Rocket League trading scene is dying. Like, look at this spreadsheet right here for the White Fennec. It's going downhill massively. But literally, all I did was select 10 random uh, Rocket League YouTubers and... On their social blade, it just proves that, yeah, there's not really that much demand in just YouTube in general. Like, I was looking at statistics, and a lot of you guys have got exams right now, I do believe, if I'm not mistaken. Obviously, I'm out of school now, so no idea when people do their exams and stuff. But I was looking at some polls, and just shows that there's not really that much activity on TikTok, YouTube, social media in general at the moment. So that could be the reason, obviously, not that many people are playing the game on Xbox or PS4, Switch, or on, what is it, PC, if you do play Rocket League. So... It could just be a bad time for, like, social media in general. We'll have to wait and see in the future. But, yeah. Honestly, it's a sticky one. Hopefully, credit demand just drops a little bit and stuff starts rising. Then we'll be back into our, like, prime form, basically. I know deep down in my heart that stuff is going to start rising again very shortly. And just taking a look at some of these old prices I was looking through my PC. Oh, my God. Like, literally, take a look at some of the prices right here. It is just... It's so weird to me. It's so weird looking back because you have stuff like, oh my god, Julian Dragons and like the Octane, 5.5k each. Then you've got stuff like Bayon Ogre, which creeping up to 40k at one point. Then you've got stuff like, yeah, White Apex, 130 solid. That just doesn't surprise me. White Dream Racer being really expensive, 60,000 credits as well. Then stuff like White Emerald at nearly 40k. Like, you don't even see that. These, you see them at like 20k these days, not really doing anything. And then what's the last one we've got here? Yeah, it's going to be White Helios at 20k. Wow. So. Literally, like, they've, like, halved pretty much in value, most of them. So, we'll have to wait and see, boys. Hopefully, the market's going to sort itself out soon. I don't think Rocket League trading is dying yet, but give it a month or so. And if it's still, like, in this way, then, yeah, we have a bit of an issue. Let's just say that. Oh, yeah, if you guys did enjoy the video and you are new around here and want to stick around, like I said, daily Rocket League content, make sure you're subscribing to the channel. Also, drop a like if you enjoyed this type of video. I might do this more in the future. If you do fancy donating anything to my friend who's doing a great deed, link is going to be down below in the description. It can literally be a pound, a dollar. Literally anything means the absolute world. And yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow.